Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Code Veronica. You are here with Morris at the end of the last part. Steve had an unfortunate incident. Uh, I don't think daddy issues is really the right term to use, but you know what? It works in this scenario. You unlock the door. All right, so I want to explore the rest of this kind of section of this building. Or do I? <laughs> Not really. Oh, this bogan is such trash. Such trash, honestly. And then they fall right in front of me, so I don't even... Oh, God. Is that guy... That, that guy looks dead. Whoa, they're like homing in. Look at that. Got a bit of curve on him. Jeez. Yeah, this bowgun is terrible, but I'm going to keep using it because I kind of want to stockpile a bit of ammo first. Because I seem to be always on the, uh, the edge of running out of ammo. Which is not great. Was this the room I was... Oh, this is the room I was in before. Okay. I see. Which means I want to go back down, don't I? And get all those items that I was really annoyed <laughs> about that I couldn't get before. You're on the first floor. Well, I guess we're going to go down. And then... I don't really know what to do next, so I just guess we're just going to revert back to, you know, standard... You know, default protocol, which is just to... What the hell is... Oh, yeah. Which is just to, um... I was wondering what this was on the wall. Oh, there's bullets in it. Okay. Which is just to, get, you know, systematically go by room by room and check everything. I don't know why I can't... What is that? And why can't I get across? Oh, well. I can deal. Now, because Steve cleared this area out... It should be clear, right? Like, I shouldn't have to deal with anything new, yeah? What was the hell was that? <laughs> Breaker may fail due to overload. In case of failure, evacuate. Get the fuck out of there. Raise the lever as illustrated. The ventilation device will resume operation. Okay, I don't know what that is, but let's just carry on as normal, shall we? Seems to have been in use for a long time. Over the grid, there's an indigo blue... Ah, oh, I need that indigo blue card that goes in the indigo blue card reader. Taking way too long finding that. I mean, this, this game will open up when I get that. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. Actually, I need an item box also. Shit, I probably should... Probably should have done that first. Hmm. Seems I forgot about the uh, the golden lugas, and there's so much to pick up, I'm going to have to come back here. Oh, God. Memos are posted here, but there's nothing of interest. Jeez. There's a thing there. That seems like a, that, that green thing, it seems like a, you know, maybe I can pick that up. But I guess not. That is so cool, by the way. Those had, oh my, American Wolf handgun bullets. That's pretty cool. I never even noticed that design before. <laughs> There's a handgun part placed on the work desk. It cannot be used with the handgun that I have. I see. Interesting. So I need a new handgun. Well, I mean, I'm down with that. Oh, and I need the lockpick as well. Crap. Okay, well, I guess coming down here was pointless. So I guess when I get the lockpick, I'll go back down. Still, I might as well pick these up. I am going back upstairs. Oh, that's right. I have the, the medicine, don't I? So I can go back to the beginning. Now there's an idea. Okay, now we got stuff to do. Now we got a to-do list going. <laughs> the most valuable thing in a Resident Evil game. Having a to-do list. Someone needs to oil these doors. Way too creaky. And there's also a second floor as well. But now we've done a sweep of the basement. Now we'll sweep the first floor and we'll work our way up. That is the new plan. Now, I know I can't technically pick anything up, but I want to see what's in here, just just in case. Okay, this looks like a thing. There's also a save point here. Well, I can't even pick up the ribbons at the moment. Okay, well, this is like a... This seems like a puzzle room, so... 
Ugh, I gotta find an item box, I'm sorry. <laughs> I desperately want to move on, but I, if I can't pick anything up, I'm screwed. So where's the nearest item box? I guess we go through the double doors back. So yeah, where is the nearest save room? I don't even know, I don't even know where it is. Could I go back upstairs? Would that card, would that uh, shutter thing be open? Might be worth checking out. Just in case, because I really don't want to go back to the... Uh, that other house, to be honest. <laughs> There are not a lot of item boxes around here. Come on, Steve, pick it up. Don't look, don't look, just keep moving, just keep moving. Oh god, that she that, that didn't get hit there, surely. We'll have to check that later. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Just get in there. Just don't even think about that. Is that beatable? <laughs> Is that a beatable enemy? So can I go in here? So I might open this up. Oh. Well, I guess not then. Silver in color. Oh, ventilation is not complete. Okay, well, I forgot about the precious ventilation. Ah, uh, is there another save room anywhere? No. Okay, well, I guess I'll go back through here. This should still work. Yeah, that's good. I can deal with that. And there shouldn't be any en Oh, jeez. Why do I even speak? There shouldn't be any enemies. Whatever. Come on, Marge. You should know better by now. Always other enemies. Okay, so I can get back in here, yes? Awesome, hopefully that'll just stay open then. I wouldn't want to have to keep going and doing a 360 to get back to this area. Oh, my Christ, okay, we can put some stuff back. <laughs> Alright, what, what can we lose? You know what, we haven't got the lockpick, so we're going to lose that. Uh, we are also going to lose them for the time being. Also the grenade rounds. Mm, do I want to save it? Not really. I don't see myself dying. To be perfectly honest. Use a green herb and... And that'll be enough. And then we're going to go back to the beginning. Give that guy this medicine. And then uh, and then we'll reevaluate. Sounds good. Thanks. Thanks for agreeing. Okay, now I feel much better having four spaces left. We just have to hope we don't get hit. I mean, I don't really want to save scum it. Like, just save and then try and make a lap around this whole map and uh, without getting hit. We should just, uh, we, we just gotta roll with it. Hopefully these dogs won't corner me. Get in there. Thank you. And this is open, yes, yes. Good stuff. Alright, let's just double... Actually, no, we don't need to double check. It's a pretty obvious way to go, to get back. Hopefully this worm dealie won't crush me. Wow, wow, it's just right there. <laughs> that was rough. Wow, we're going all the way back. This, right, this screams to me of being optional, but I don't, I don't know. Just the idea of going back to the very first screen in the whole game, I mean, that, I don't know. To me, it feels optional, but that's fine with me. I'd rather, I'd rather do this and get some super cool item than not do it at all. Hell, if, even if you just give me bullets, oh, that's enough for me. <laughs> I'm easily pleased, what can I say? 
15 handgun rounds and I'm yours. Oh Christ, I forgot about these guys. Okay, where am I going? I think it's across this and... Yeah, down to the left there. So we just need to... Cheeky bit of maneuveration. Oh, there we go. These guys better not have respawned. Oh, they only went and respawned, didn't they? Well, I believe... I think that's super weak in this area. Yeah. I don't mind popping a few rounds into him. <laughs> Come on, Claire. Sweet. It's probably a much better way of doing that, but... Do you think I have time? Do you think I have time for that? Planning things out? That's just not my style. Okay, dude, I got your medicine. Probably already dead, because I've been a long time. So. Ah! What are you doing here? That doesn't even have any ammo in it. Probably because I took all the bullets from this area. Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Yeah, you say that, but I brought you the medicine, so... Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. <gasps> Is that lockpick? Now go. Don't worry about me. Shit, I put the case back. <laughs> ah! Lockpick! Oh, I don't have a lighter anymore. That sucks. You'd better get out of here while you're still able. Hey, maybe we should team up. Nope. Didn't think so. Alright. Alrighty, cool. Well, that was totally worth it for a lockpick. Jeez. Again, I don't know if it's optional. But that seems like a pretty key item. <laughs> so maybe it's not. Although there's never been, like, a lock that's, like, a simple lock barring my progress, so I don't know. If someone wants to enlighten me on that, then can you actually complete this game without getting the lockpick at all? Alrighty, well, what's next? Get through this area before you even think about anything. That's what's next. Okay, now what's next? Um... Maybe the Golden Lugas. Maybe we go back to the house and put those, uh... Guns in their little gun hole thing. Guns is key items, so well, that's new. Because, again, strikes me as possibly optional. I don't know, all these, uh, all these sort of items don't seem connected to the actual story. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We're nearer to uh, to that puzzle room, so we'll do that first. We'll go back in here. Decisions, decisions. I got the feeling that this thing could just kill me in one. Ah, oh, and it roars and everything. That's horrible. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's also totally bogan bolts here, which I missed completely. And I'm gonna get hit. Yep, thought so. And again. Cool. It's fine. My dog in real life does that to me all the time, so I, you know, Claire can probably handle it, you know. Also feels like that I sort of imagined handgun bullets. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought I saw him before. I didn't want to say anything in case I was crazy. But I'm not crazy. Also, Steve's gone, and so is the corpse of his father. That's a little strange. Maybe you went to bury him. But he probably shouldn't, because that worm thing is outside, and we'll probably eat both of them. But he's not here, so we, we can't really give him that advice. Okay. So, I guess we'll pick up these ink ribbons and save it. And then we'll tackle this puzzle in the next episode, guys. If I had an ink ribbon, well, it's lucky that they're right next to it. There we go. 
But yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode of Code Veronica, and please do join me for the next part, guys. I will see you in a bit. See you later.